What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome back to this Town Hall 12 Farm to Maxed series. Now it's been a couple of weeks since we brought you guys an episode, so let's go ahead and update you on exactly what progress we have made. Now you can see that we have maxed out gold, 12 million, so we are going to be spending some of that today. I've had my progress base on ready in order to show you guys exactly what progress we have made. But what it has led to is a whole host of loot being lost. I mean, look at some of this, guys. Two three stars in a row i lost so much loot in that one really needed to get around to doing this episode a couple of days ago but we are here now guys now you can see that my defenses are on low ammo now here's the thing there is a new clash of clans update hitting soon if you go on into the news section you will be able to read about it guys the upcoming quality of life changes i'm not going to focus on it in this video but basically you no longer have to pay in order to rearm your traps as soon as you log in they will be rearmed so do I go ahead and spend 60,000 gold almost, 2,000 Dark Elixir? Oh yeah, I don't know when the update's going to happen, guys. So I guess for memory, we'll do it one more time. There you go. Because before long, we're not going to be able to do that. But we're right back up to 12 million. What are we going to upgrade today? Well, the cannon and archer tower that we upgraded in the previous episode, they are done. So let's pull them across to this side. We're running out of space in our progress base. What have we got here? 100,000 of each beautiful stuff. And in order to get maxed out, we basically have the bomb towers, mortars, and cannons. Now, like I said last time, I think the cannons will be the priority, but... I actually want to upgrade the tornado trap as well because when it gets troops spinning around in the spot like that it can really help out so we are going to focus on that first and foremost we didn't really help in the clan games but we are still going to collect the loot let me know in the comments have you ever forgot to collect your rewards i'm pretty sure i have done in the past but the training portion is first and foremost what we're going to pick because basically that allows me to speed up my attacks whenever i'm doing videos like this the dark elixir kind of got a pick on that one to be honest the 40 gems is nice but i still do have a couple of troops i need to upgrade with dark elixir so let's go with that 1 million gold 2 million elixir or four wall rings now the wall rings is basically four million of either resource whatever you want to count so it's got to be the wall rings that makes perfect sense the resource portion because i don't really need the power portion now that i have my bats up to max level we do not need it i think hmm, what is this this is the spells isn't it do we really need that or do we choose the two million gold Ugh, tough decision tough decision i don't think we have too many spells left to go so let's go with the gold now look at this one guys the book of buildings is yeah that could be helpful 120 gems or the rune of gold the rune of gold that is 12 million that is way more than 120 gems so we are going to add that to our clan castle boom and as part of the update you guys will also know that the treasury will no longer be in the clan castle it will actually move to the town hall itself but all of these buttons, basically what the changing is, instead of having all of these traps reloading, you, they're just going to let us reload them for free. But it means we don't have all of these buttons all over the screen. We'll now just have the treasury in there. Pretty cool. What about the laboratory? Before we get into some attacks, and by the way, today, guys, I have mentioned I want to try and improve my queen charges. And my Lalo, I have been trying to improve for quite some time. So we're going to be trying some queen charge Lalo today. That's exactly what we need to improve. But what about the laboratory? What have we got? We've got all of this elixir. Do we put it into the walls or do we use some dark elixir? Now, look at that, guys. We do have the battle blimp. That would mean that all of our siege machines are to level three so that if we are in war and we really need a siege machine, no one else is online, I can still get them max levels. I think it's got to be that. Three, two, one, boom. Battle blimp it is. Let's see. Ten days 
before that gets upgrading. Now, let's get a cannon, you know, 11 million. Let's go ahead and get that upgrading. Boom, beautiful stuff. Now we won't lose as much when we're on defense. And I think we've got to collect that loot card. Basically, you want to collect that loot card every time you enter the base. That is going to do it for the start. Let's go ahead and get the cannon up to the top there because it's upgrading. And I think the next trap will be the tornado. That's what we're aiming for, guys. But let's get out there and let's find ourselves a base that we can indeed crush. Now, let me know in the comments as well. By the way... Be sure to leave a like if you do enjoy these videos. Obviously, I do concentrate a lot on war and strategy, trying to explain that to you, tips and tricks. But I do enjoy the farming videos as well. This is a bit of a crazy base. There's not too much on display in terms of loot, though. So we'll skip over it for the moment. And as ever, if it's taken forever, we will just skip ahead the video through the process of editing and give you a brilliant base. But what I was saying... Obviously, most of my videos concentrate on strategy, war, tips and tricks, that sort of stuff. But I do farm in the background and I do bring them videos more often. And I've been trying to bring a lot of my Let's Play series back. So that is the idea here, guys. The Town Hall 12, we will be showing you right up to that max level. My Town Hall 8 series I'll be bringing back. I do have uh, my other accounts as well. My beginner account, my Town Hall 3, that one has been neglected for Ever. We need to get back on that beginner series, but guys, we are struggling already. Like, come on, Town Hall 11s, what are you doing up here? I guess, I guess I am farming in, like, Champ League because, honestly, I hate the clouds, and I can't wait for them to fix it this year. I think that is going to be the happiest thing for me this year when they finally fix the clouds but guys it's taken forever i don't want you guys to just sit here watching me skip bases although granted you probably know what this feels like let's come back yep let's come back when we found a base finally we have found a base worth attacking taha a town hall 11 gives us 500,000 gold and 600,000 elixir. Where do we want to attack from? Multi Inferno over on the left hand side. We do have the single at the other side, but we can come behind that sweeper. I think we try and charge in towards the enemy queen here. And I think starting with a baby dragon onto that gold mine, gold mine and army camp. You know what I mean, guys. Over in that area, go do your stuff. Now let's use the king on this side. A little bit suicide method because we want the queen to get straight into the base. Look at that baby dragon. OP. You're going to get the cannon down as well. King is going to walk down that side when he starts to tank. Let's go ahead and get the queen in. Followed by... Oh no! Massive, massive fail. Oh! I do that all the time, guys. What is wrong with me? I've sent the healers onto the queen. Let's send the Grand Warden in there to try and help. I've sent the healers onto the king, shall we say. That's not going to be good. That's not going to be good. But we should be all right here. This guy's base is a little bit uh, underleveled, shall we say. Let's get a jump spell here. Rage spell is in there with my wall wrecker once they pop out. I do want another rage spell ahead of that so that the bowlers can hopefully take out that single inferno. And let's start the Lalo from behind the sweeper. Just keeping an eye on things. Let's use a Grand Warden's ability whilst we can. Let's get another hound in here. I think given that it's a Town Hall 11, we should still be okay here, guys. Even though I had the healer fail, it's not that big of a deal. We should be good. Let's get a rage onto that eagle. Couple of balloons onto that wizard tower. Didn't even see the one at the back end, but honestly... It's not going to be any issue. The queen is going to come around. She is going to flank that area. Let's get the wizards for cleanup alongside the minions. Do we really need these spells? I guess the annoying thing is if I don't use them, I don't know what level my other spells are stacked within the within the army comp that I've got cooking up. And that's one quality of life change that I suggested on the forums probably about six months ago now. I might revisit it and see if they can change it. But basically, I'll show you guys. When I get back to base, I'm not going to use these two spells just to demonstrate this to you. I have a haste and I have a poison. Now, depending on the order that my other spells were in, it might actually mean that I have more haste and more poison and basically be not what I want. Let's check it out. There you go. So I have two poisons now and I only need one. Now what it should do, in my opinion, is not pull the poison spell through because I already had it. And it should basically just pull in the spells that you've used 
That's how it should work. So what I'm going to have to do is basically drop out this haste spell. Yeah, because we don't need another one. And then we can drop out the poison in order to get the rage spell that we actually needed. Now that's a quality of life change I would like to see where the game can recognize what spells you have and haven't used. What's going on with my army comp here, dude? Lava hounds aren't even there. So let's cook up a couple of other hounds. Then what have we got? Got the healers. Yeah, let's just stack on balloons from there, right? I don't think we need anything else. We've got a couple of wizards. They are supposed to be for behind the king. I use the king as a suicide method. They are supposed to be placed there. Let's go ahead and just stack up on loons from there. I think, honestly, we had more than enough. That was a Town Hall 11. It was a dip attack. I know, guys. I know. Then what I will do is cook up the army again in the background. I will use a training potion in order to speed this process. And basically, guys, we will come back when we have found another base to attack. Well, hello there. We had some technical issues before this, but this is going to make up for it. What's with these walls, man? All wooden walls. Level 1 walls. I don't think the wall wrecker is even needed, guys. What on earth is this? Right, let's charge into the enemy queen, I guess. Sweepers on the edge. We should be able to easily take that out. We might even be able to just do a king swap over on this side with the queen. Heck, let's just get into it. Let's put the baby dragon here. I mean, if I don't three-star this base, I should just quit. I really should just quit. Let's put the king and the wizards in. Once the baby dragon has basically taken out that sweeper, I know the queen's not necessarily going that direction. So let's put the queen in. Uh, let's put her in like here. Uh, then king is doing a good job. Let's get the wrecker in here as well. Once we know the queen's taking damage, we can then put the healers in. Uh, but honestly... <laughs> The king's just running around doing what he needs to do at the minute, tearing up the place. Uh, I think let's go ahead and put a rage spell into the middle along with the poison. Now let's get the healers onto the queen there. I think let's get the grand warden in as well. What we don't want to do is have this queen go down for some reason. Dragons are trying to do work onto our war wrecker, but for some reason the war wrecker just is surviving like a trooper. My Grand Warden is on air for some reason, so I'm actually going to press that ability. You could see the black bomb coming through there. That is not good. That would have took my Warden straight out. I say we see how far we get with a kill squad. We don't even do the Lalo unless we need it. Let's just see if we can wreck this base with just what we have on the map right now. Bowler's doing a good job through the middle. Let's get another Rage because then Bowler's will be um, important if we're going to do that. Keep an eye on the Queen because the single is on her popping that ability. Now let's see. We need another Rage in the middle here. Help with them Bowler's. We are going to need the Lalo, guys. So let's start it around this side. Let's just basically push in whatever we need. Let's put a one here as well. Honestly, I'm not being too surgical with my balloons here. I really don't need to be. I probably don't even need to use the rest of these uh, these spells. can just hold on to the four haste. But as you know from that previous raid, it really doesn't matter. Because probably I'll have to dump them anyway once I get to the screen. And look at it, guys. Nice little engineered base. Foo, thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. Beautiful stuff. I think we'll get one more raid in this episode. Then that will pretty much wrap it up and we will see where we're at. We will discuss upgrades that we are aiming for in that next episode. Balloons all around the map. That was a nice little raid, wasn't it? In order to get all of that loot. Always nice. Always nice when it's just easy like that. I mean, level one walls and the star bonus. Beautiful stuff. Do we... Oh, my treasury's full. No. No. Let me know in the comments if you guys do that as well. Do you basically waste... What's happened here? Seven haste! So we've got to drop three of them anyway. Oh my word. Like, it's so frustrating. It really is. Just fix it. <laughs> I didn't even check. We might have... We did. <laughs> we pulled another ace through. What is wrong with me? Right, there we go. That's the spell composition we need. We've got five minutes before the king and the warden is ready. So let's go ahead and request. Then I will get them cooking in the background as well for next time. Might as well because I'll be farming in the background as well. And that is pretty much going to wrap it up. Before we get into the next attack, 
Empire. Massive shout out, my man. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. That's the only way you stay up to date with all of my videos when they go live. But let's come back when we have the final base to attack. Okay, guys, we found our final opponent, Muton Diong. He is going to be the enemy that we are going to take down. Look at that one blue wall right in the center. That's kind of cool. Right next to that eagle. Where are we going to come from? Where is best to charge? I'm kind of thinking, ugh, I'm kind of thinking this is an awful base to have to come up against. We might charge in from the bottom, but equally the top might be a good area to, uh, no, nah, let's send the Grand Warden on air. Let's just, let's just put something different in this today, guys. Let's go ahead and put the, baby drag here let's put the king here alongside them two wizards let them do work then we'll send the queen straight into the bottom that gives us two air defenses the eagle both sweepers we can control the lalo a little bit better and hopefully we shouldn't get too far in range of the air defense either so let's go ahead and put the wrecker in whilst the king is somewhat tanking let's use that ability then we can basically put the queen here uh, again, I'm not going to put the healers in just yet. Not until the queen takes that little bit of damage. And we know that the healers will go to the queen. Now that we know the healers will go to the queen, let's put them in. Warden is on air, remember. So, queen, get into the base, queen. Queen, do not want... Oh, my word. What is she doing? What is she doing? Thank you. Going into the base, doing something which she should be. Healers are getting picked off there. From the air defense, we've actually taken three of them out here, but I kind of need the queen to go a little bit further into the base here in order to help out. But she's finally doing what we need. Now, where on earth are we going to start the Lalo from? We should be good to take out all of the air defense here. I think we should probably start from the left-hand side, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get our balloons in to circle. We need to basically get onto Queen's ability. We need to get onto that single pretty quickly. Put the Grand Warden up top here with all of these balloons because we basically want them to circle up over and to the Town Hall. Let's go ahead and put one more Rage onto the Queen just because she should be able to get pretty good value there. Are the balloons now going to the Town Hall? Yes, they are. Let's use that ability. Then as they come out of there, let's use the Haste onto the Wizard Tower. Not looking too bad, guys. It is not looking too bad. We are going down quick, though. We got a single Inferno. The Queen has now gone down, but we've got a stack of loons. I think charging into the bottom was definitely the best option. The single Inferno pops the Lava Hound. What an epic Lava Hound pop right at the end of the video to wrap up another three star. I tell you, I am practicing with the Queen Charge Lalo. I'm definitely not as good as what it might look like in this video, but I've done all right, really. One engineered base, the other two not maxed, but okay. I'll take the victories. I will take the three stars. If we don't fall short on time, then all we need to do is jump back over to base, wrap up the video in terms of what we are upgrading. Come on, don't time fail. It's not gonna happen. Boom! Three stars, guys. Beautiful stuff. Drop some hype down in the comments. Let me know if you're still here, if you enjoy the Town Hall 12 Farm to Max episodes, and let me know if there is a particular strategy you want me to test out and try. Go for it, guys. I will be testing it out. So we did say at the start of the episode the Tornado Trap was something we wanted to upgrade. Hey, the air bombs are actually... No, they're not. What am I talking about? I thought they were max level. This one is... This one's max level. Let's get that across there. Nice. Any others? Any others? Nope. All of the others need upgrading. But the tornado trap, I feel we should upgrade. So that's the first upgrade that we are doing at the end of the episode. But we still have 4 million gold left. We have three builders 10 days before that cannon is done. I don't think it's worthwhile waiting. I think the red air bombs are just as good to defend the lava loon. And it's 3 million. So boom. Decisions made. One more of them red air bombs are getting upgraded. Nice, nice. Then we have six million elixir. Nothing in the treasury. I think we've got 10 days here, but I think in terms of we've got the barch to upgrade. Honestly, that's nothing. Then we just have the dark elixir, and I'm going to be focusing on that. I really don't use the barbs and archers that much at Town Hall 12. So let's go ahead and upgrade a couple of the walls. Now we also have the wall rings, don't we? So we can go ahead and use two of them. Bumpf. 
Pull them walls across. Beautiful stuff. Now, yes, my walls are a little bit underleveled, guys. You can let me off on that. Basically, if I don't farm enough to put the extra into the walls, I really, I just leave it, honestly. I would rather wait and upgrade defenses than do the walls. But that is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Until next time, peace out.